Hey everybody, welcome into Watch Me Wednesday, episode number 32. Jackie Kunkel in Canton Village Quilt Works. Um, again, it's episode number 32. I actually still find it hard to believe I've done 32 already. Um, so welcome in today. I have a few things that I would like to go over today. One of the things that's pretty exciting is that um, I want to announce a new quilt along today. So if any of you are interested in doing a quilt along with me coming up starting probably next week, um, so which will give you a week to gather supplies and all and to share the post for other, uh, maybe your own friends that might want to uh, participate along with you. That would be fun to have friends to participate with you. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you first, before I get into the quilt along part of it, uh, uh, what we're going to be doing for that, is remember last week and I was, show, I was showing you the tribute because the giveaway, by the way, is still going on. So hit that share button so other people can partake in the giveaway. Um, it, the giveaway goes on through February 28th, so if you haven't entered, make sure that you enter to win this sweet little machine. So remember last week I made, and basically I stitched out um, some of the decorative stitches on here and I showed you that I was going to do a little project with them. Well, I had tossed it around in my head as to what project uh, I actually wanted to do and I was thinking about making them each into like a little mug rug. Um, but I opted not, I opted to do just a stitching sampler um, mini is what I did. <laughs> Hi everybody, thank you for all the love. So here's kind of what I did. I just put those four squares together and I actually did quilt it, if you see. Um, everything done uh, on my Viking. Uh, I used my Fresh Pickens fabric on the back. Uh, and all I have to do right now is actually put binding on it. But this will serve as a reminder to me some of the stitches that are on this fabulous little machine, the Tribute 145C. Um, again, I said I thought I would make little mug rugs out of these, but I had actually cut these um, a little larger than a mug rug, so I opted to just put them together in this little mini sampler, and I actually think it's kind of pretty, don't you? Um, so I'm going to bind it, and hopefully next week maybe you'll see this little guy binded. Uh, I just think it's kind of cute and maybe I'll just use it as like a little table topper I'm not sure but anyway um, again so those are some of the stitches that uh, the tribute uh, stitches out and um, I can't wait actually to do the giveaway in a couple weeks but we still have lots of people entering the giveaway so make sure you do that and I will repost the link in the um, after I post the video, I'll repost the link to my blog where you can uh, enter. Uh, and I really hope that uh, you've taken advantage of it and entered because I really like this machine. I've actually been considering getting it myself. A couple other features I just want to tell you about before I get into the quilt along piece. Um, you are welcome for the great prizes, my friend Lisa. So anyway, um, some of the things that I had not talked about, and I'm going to bring the camera down here. So you can actually let your feed dogs down here. You can let them down and do free motion quilting on this machine. And I know somebody asked me to demo some free motion quilting, but because I'm a long armor, I, I'm not very good at quilting on a domestic machine, which is kind of unfortunate. But you can lower your feed dogs to do free motion quilting, which is really cool. The other thing that I like about Vikings, and you can kind of see it here, is see how this already has this extra light right in here, right in that throat. Love that. And it's got the light right here. Plus, I'm not, I think I might have mentioned, um, but when your bobbin starts to run low here, you actually, it'll actually stop stitching. And you get a little notification here that your bobbin is low. So you won't ever run out of bobbin again in the middle of like when you're chain piecing. Is that not cool? And then you can wind your bobbin and you wind it right on up here. 
and you never have to unthread your needle. You just pull the thread up, bring it up, put it around your bobbin, and it winds your bobbin. Isn't that cool? Very free, very easy to use. So those are a couple other features. Next week, I'm hoping, um, let's get this camera back this way. Next week, I'm hoping to demonstrate for you uh, programming it so that you can do like um, monogramming and letters and things like that. So stay tuned next week and, and we'll also start the, um, so, Teresa's is demo the long arm. Oh, Teresa, that's a big request. I mean, literally big request, <laughs> demoing the long arm. We'll see. I'll have to think about that. Give that some good hard thought. Um, but anyway, we'll, we're going to start the quilt along next week. But I'm going to give you a little bit of an intro this week to it. Um, and I really would love it if you could share the post because the more the merrier for the quilt along. The last time we did a quilt along, we had some great um, photos of quilts that you guys were working on uh, during the quilt along. I thought it was fantastic. And I think this one will be equally as fantastic. And I'm a little more organized on this one too. So I am setting up a page on my website where I actually have it set up, but I can't figure out how to make it live. So um, hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have that live link for you. And I will post it in this uh, video. It's each week I'm going to give you a little um, prep sheet for you so that you can print it off. It'll be a PDF and you can print it off on your computer and have it to go along with the quilt along. Anyway, so let's kind of get um, uh, started, okay? So the quilt along is going to be on one of my most popular patterns. It's gonna, and I have the quilt here and it's hard for me to hold up the whole quilt here in this corner. But this is my mountains, mountains and plains quilt, okay? So you can see it's got these triangle scrappy borders and it's got these cool uh, like half log cabins or um, blocks. This is the pattern, okay? It's called Mountains and Plains. And it's gonna be a fun one to do because I'm gonna guide you through this and you could do it scrappy or the pattern is written that you can use 15 fat quarters. And Lord knows we all have fat quarters, right everyone? We have fat quarters. And if you have 15, you can do this whole entire quilt out of 15 fat quarters plus the background fabric. But you can also choose to do it super scrappy as well. So the link that I'm gonna provide you after um, the video is over and once I figure out how to get it live on my page, I, so I will be going back and, and and definitely noting that link. So you're gonna have to check back because I, I need to figure out how to get it live, okay? The link will show you what you need and I'll, I can verbally tell you what you're gonna need before next week right now. So you will need to purchase my pattern and what I did for you, if you wanna purchase the print pattern or the PDF download on my website, I've lowered the price for you. I've taken the price down 25% on both the PDF and the printed. So it is now $7.12, this pattern only, so that you can go ahead and participate in the quilt along. Now, there's a couple, there's a, an optional tool that you could use for the um, triangle border. It's the Creative Grid 60 Degree Triangle. I'm loving all the hearts. Thank you for sending the love. I hope you like this quilt along. Um, so the optional tool, again, is the Creative Grid 60 Degree Triangle. But I provide for you a template as well. So if you don't have that triangle ruler and you don't want to go ahead and purchase it, you have that in your pattern. So that's... It's not a requirement, it is optional for you. Um, so you might wanna start thinking, of obviously things that you'll need, you'll need your basic supplies like a sewing machine, thread, seam ripper, hopefully we don't need to use a seam ripper, <laughs> scissors, things like that, um, that I know that you all have quarter inch uh, foot or if you just tend to move the needle 
over to the quarter inch position, that's fine too. So it's a, this is gonna be a great project for you to slim down some of your stash or possibly use up some new stuff. And just a heads up, I'm gonna be putting my fresh catch, uh, fresh catch is actually on sale and the fresh Pickens is gonna go down in price again because the Blue Moon collection is on its way. I got the shipment notification and Blue Moon will be here, I think this week sometime. So you can also use new fabric if you prefer. Um, and again, it's like 15 fat quarters, but I will have that PDF up for you. Hopefully by the end of the day, if not, it should be up by tomorrow. Um, so I wanna show you, so I showed you uh, this. This, I when I had done the original pattern, I had done it all out of um, Australian fabrics and uh, black Kona cotton. But when I did the original design, I also have an African fabric stash, which I know I've showed you all before. I had done some African blocks, and actually I have half of the quilt done, which means that I'm gonna be quilting right along with you because I need to make more of these blocks, plus obviously the uh, border, okay? Uh, so I, I kind of would like to finish up these blocks because I, you know, this is like one of those UFOs that we all kind of have and it's nice to get rid of it and finish it up. So these are some of the blocks that I did in the African fabrics. But I wanted to show you this, which is really funny. So I wanted to see how it would look in a teeny tiny miniature. Look. Isn't that cute? So I don't know if I will actually complete it in a miniature, but it's obviously something that you all can do if you so desire. Once you've made the pattern, you can figure out you know, how to make it miniature size or even bigger. Um, so it's kind of fun, isn't it? I don't know if that I'll incorporate that into the quilt somewhere, maybe on the label. Maybe I'll use that on the label. I'm not sure I wanna make many more of these, but you can see how I have to say, I'm pretty impressed at how accurate I was when I um, did the stitching on there. It was pretty cool. And I did, I, you know, I did it years ago when I, before I um, actually printed the pattern up. So this is high time that I finish it, but it's a really fun, fun quilt to make. And it's a nice size, it's 60 by 60. So it can make, and I call it, what I like to call it, it's a nice size for like a picnic quilt. So you can make this quilt. It's a great baby quilt too, by the way. If you have 15 fat quarters um, that are like a baby kind of theme or something that would be cool for a, a baby, uh, you could make a baby quilt because it's a nice size. It's a nice size to lay out on the floor for that baby to play with uh, and play on on the floor. Um, I like it because it's a nice size to take if you're going on a picnic with um, that special someone, you could take it and lay it out on the ground, put your food out and have your picnic. So it's a cool quilt to make and it's a really good size and it doesn't take real, real long. It's a great beginner quilt. So for some of you who are beginners or want to try something new, uh, will it work well with flannels? Yes, it will work well with flannels, absolutely. Um, just when you decide to quilt it, you can either decide to put a really thin bat in it, or when I use flannels, I actually like to put a regular bat in it because I like the weight of it. Um, but yeah, it'll work well with flannels. Um, and Beth, if you want to do it in miniatures, you certainly can. Um, and I will talk about that when we do the, when we start the quilt along next week. But in the meantime, you know, you're going to want to gather your supplies and the first thing you'll need to gather is obviously the pattern and, and like I said I put the pattern on sale for you all it's on my website and I will put the link in the video after so the the pattern is available on sale on my site for seven dollars and twelve cents um, as a PDF download or printed pattern and it for those of you who have had the pa who had the pattern and haven't started making it take it out and join in on the quilt along. It's a good excuse to get the pattern done, right? Um, and I will probably be sewing along right on the tribute. Um, and I'm trying to think. So today is the 
21st, I believe. So the giveaway on the tribute ends on the 28th. So I'll probably only be demoing it one more time. So maybe I'll just do the quilt along on the tribute. But share the video. Let's get more people to participate in the quilt along because I can't wait really to see all your um, renditions of my mountains and plains quilt. I think it's a fun quilt. It's a great scrappy quilt. If that's the way you want to go, pull out your scrap bucket and then just start cutting away. That's kind of what I did on the original quilt. But when I wrote the pattern, I wanted to make it fat quarter friendly, so we used fat quarters instead. Um, so you could do it either way. And I'm going to talk about that the first session uh, of the quilt along. But it, it'll be fun. So we're going to have our own hashtag, too, for the quilt along, so that when we post our pictures of, the, of what we're making, we are going to hashtag it so that everybody can see those pictures. So for those of you who don't know how hashtags work, when you're seeing all those posts that have hashtags in it, and you see posts that say, hashtags Canton Village Quilt Works, if you click on that hashtag, it's gonna show you all the pictures from posts that have been hashtagged Canton Village Quilt Works. So if you see a post that's gonna say, hashtags Mountains and Plains Quilts, they're gonna show all the pictures from Mountains and Plains Quilt. That's how hashtags work. So you can get inspiration from just clicking on somebody's hashtag to see all the different renditions. That's why we want to hashtag it so everybody can see it. So it's just like tagging somebody in a post, but you're tagging the quilt or you're tagging the subject, etc. So a lot of people aren't sure how they work, so that's kind of a mini lesson right there. So, just to recap, remember to enter the giveaway for the Tribute 145C. That's on my blog, and I will put the link there again. Uh, after this, this uh, Facebook Live is over and I'm finished with my Watch Me Wednesday, I will be putting the link to that in the, in the um, body. I will also be putting the link to the Quilt Along, the very first PDF, for that for next week uh, and basically it's the supply list and the first supply you really need to get is this so that you know what fabrics to buy or what fabrics to pull um, for the quilt along okay so that's an essential to have and again I'll put the link to this pattern also in the post so though that's the recap the quilt along we will start next week and I will not be making the mini version. Personally, I won't be, but I'll talk about how you can. I will be completing the rest of these blocks, and I hope lots of you join in on the quilt along. That would be a lot of fun. So please share the post, because the more the merrier. I love having people share their renditions, uh, and I'm really anxious to give this away. <laughs> Um, because I can't wait to put a um, smile on somebody's face because I've been having a lot of fun playing with this machine. It's a great machine. So anyway, share the post, and I'll see you back here next week with your patterns in hand, fabric in hand, and our first little lesson on the quilt along, okay? So if you have any questions, Put them in the comments. I always look through my comments and we will get going on the quilt along. And I'll see you next week. Share the post and have a great weekend, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.